Federalist. We're here, uh, Sacramento, man. Uh, over the last, I've, I've lived here 25 years, and Your so whole life pretty much or not? Yeah, since I was like five, six. Since like adult, definitely adult life. But as a kid, you never came downtown. There's nothing to do. It was just state workers and stuff. And over the last 10 years, it's gone like an evolution of culture, food, and really gotten its own taste of the city. And it's just made me love it even more. And it wasn't like this 10 years ago. Not even close. You never came downtown. No one, I never came down. I, look, I came down here to learn music from my music, uh, coach because yeah. he lived down here. No one no one ever came down here. What do you think this like whole resurgence of culture and like, influx of culture came from? So I think uh, the thing was when I graduated, or my age, people started to graduate high school. Uh, half of them just left. They said, sex sucks. Left. The other half moved down here because it was cheap and you could feel free and you were in a downtown. So I think those type of people started to slowly build it up. And this is like 2000, 2000 to 2007. The people that graduated then moved down here because it was affordable. Yeah. And they started to create, they started working at bars. And they're like, oh, this is cool, but what if I did it my way? And they started to build their own food. Um, Central Valley here up in Northern California is all about agriculture. I don't know the stats, but an insane amount of the food that's served in the nation comes from those gardens. Like, if you drive LA to up yeah, here. Yeah, you, you just see like straight up fields what? of vegetables. Yeah, what are you looking at, dude? Dead, dead serious. Like all the, ag you, have you driven up here or only flew? Oh, you gotta drive. Dude, all the cows, all the veggies, everything's in Central California. Uh, not Sacramento specifically, yeah. Central California has all of it. Um, and so that's like, now we changed our name to Farm to Fork, which sounds corny, but it's all about getting it locally, Davis, uh, uh, down in the Central Valley, bringing it here and cooking it. And so I think the food revolution there, this, and then, you know, uh, Silicon Valley prices, everything started raised, and California prices just raised, so it became a really nice place to live and started building more houses. So this one, I love the obviously the vibe because you're indoors, but you're outdoors. We're yeah, inside a bunch of, yeah, you're awesome. in some shipping containers. One wall's totally free besides this COVID oh, this wall. the thing's a shipping container. Yeah, the whole thing's a shipping oh, container. Oh, yeah, I thought it was just a no, front facade. No, the whole thing, the, whole thing the kitchen, where they served us, they rad. cut out a kitchen, uh, the, the, the wood fires in a shipping container, That's and then it cool. looks outside, and now they have an outdoor patio. But just the general vibe, it's a little loud tonight. Some nights aren't as loud, so we come to chill. We come a little earlier, too. Uh, and then the pizza. I don't know about you, I love pizza. I love, I love pizza. pizza. But and, and pizza's made up of simple ingredients done well, except for the pepperoni. I want that little rosebud pepperoni. What's the other pepperoni you're talking Like the about? flat, floppy, gross one. Yeah. If your pepperoni's looking like a salami, I don't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, like a Lunchable stain now. I want my pepperoni to be a vessel for the why oil. Why do you keep grabbing it like this? Because it's shaped this way. But why do you have two of them? Well, I hope your pepperoni pizza comes with more than one pepperoni. Maybe three. Wait till you see this cup of golden oil. Why do you keep going back to because this? Because this is what, one, we're Italian. Two, our pepperonis are shaped like this. I see. Which is the curly kind. They even like say it on there. They say it's I do like, like the curly kind. Where, where it comes out and there's like a little bit a, of oil in there in the middle? They don't say the pepperoni has pepperoni. It's called a roni cup. You see that under pepperoni? Yes. It says roni cup. It says pro varela. Yep. Pro varela. Is that the cheese? Yep. Pro varela. Pro, hey, say it again. Pro varela. <laughs> Thank you. Crush the tomatoes. <laughs> Thank you. And oregano. No, the roni cup. We, we don't want pepperoni. We don't eat pepperoni. We eat roni cups. Roni cups. And what's up with all the beer? Everyone got a beer? Is this place known for beer? Uh, this place serves other people's beers, but Sacramento is just known for beer. It's a brewery. Really? Yeah, dude. Not like, there, there are some, yeah, there are a lot of places that brew in here. Coffee, too. For some weird reason, coffee and beer. Your guys' is, the coffee's from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Matcha, the matcha coffee, or Bart's matcha coffee is from Sacramento. Roasted. Beer, pizza, for some reason, is such a big culture up here. I don't know the origin. I wish I did. Uh, but everywhere you go, you get really hipster, you know, kind of unique, small batch beers. That's awesome. All right, dude, put your hands out and imagine you're trying to grab a pearl from the sky of heaven. And there's, nope, nope, the pearl's small. I don't know what kind of pearls you've seen. Well, I'm going to try to catch the pearl. No, but that's a big old pearl, bro. Well, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna catch it. You're an athlete. You'll catch it out of a fly out of the sky. Then I'll catch it like this. Yeah, kind of. But now you're just fondling our audience. <laughs> what do you want me to do, dude? Uh, so imagine that there's a... The oh, see, you're already there. <laughs> All the right, sweet, dude. The sweetest thing... Thank you, thank you. Margarita. Oh. oh wow, hey, good. hey, hey. Oh. 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 Look, dude, let's just admire the cups. I see the cup. Yeah, yeah. That's all I really okay. need to do. Cheers. Which one should I be grabbing? Have you tried both of them? 
Oh uh, yeah, they're both amazing. They're both. The pepperoni's my shit. Like you can't go wrong with a pepperoni pizza. That's true. And now we have multiple pepperonis cupping each other in a beautiful symmetrical meat line. Ooh, daddy. It's probably hot. That was probably a mistake. That was probably a mistake. That was good. That was good hot. That's good though, right? Yeah. Can you like give me like a I don't know, like a golden sticker next to my name on the wall that says like Mike is trustworthy of making really good choices in food. I do. Right? Yeah, from you this? You brought me from ice cream. How good was that? Ice cream? The barbecue. We had the house. Barbecue is good. That's not even my number one yeah. choice. That was good. This yeah. is good. It's very good. I like it. And the ice cream. Yeah, very, very good. Boys. Life changing pizza. It's like a hot dog. And the world is going on. Sorry, dude. You're I'm not gonna tell left seven <coughs> making those kind of. I've been noise. alone a long time, and <coughs> this really gets you right in the heart. You know what's really fucked up? What? I go to LA five years, maybe six years straight. Yeah. Every single month. Yeah. Right? Because we're shooting the world famous Bar of Again podcast. Right. Well, sometimes we're just, in LA. Sometimes we just hung out. Sometimes we're just best friends. Yeah. Sometimes I'm hanging in the deems. Like we're just, you know, like yeah. I'm just putting, I'm putting the effort in there. Yeah. Like two way road effort, right? Sometimes yeah. I drove, sometimes, sometimes I ran there. Like Tom never Hanks, ran there. like Your Tom Hanks. Sucks ass. No, dude, never like ran. you ever seen, uh, what's that movie, Forrest Gump? Yeah. Where it just runs. Right. I did that. No, you didn't. And I showed up at your doorstep and I said, bro, let me in. I love your, you so much. We're best friends. Yeah. And I say, go ahead. Keep running back. Yeah. And you can stay with me, but I'm not going to come to you. Yeah. And then you never came no. up here. What am I going to do? Stay with you and your mom? <laughs> you just got your house, dude. Dude, dude, look. Moms loves everyone. Okay. Dad's yeah. met her. Yeah. Mom's a great lady. She is. I've never met her. You could have slept on the couch. Maybe. With the dogs. Well, now I'm coming up because you have your own place. So you've come up here twice. Okay. Within a month, which is pretty good. Yeah. And, that thanks, I and thanks for showing me around because now we get to enjoy really delicious food, train really hard. True. Found, found all different colors of beers. True. The darkest one is the manliest one, always. True. And then now we have Viva Las Vegas to explore together. Yeah, come down. New chapters. New chapters. Cheers, dude. Cheers, dark beer. Take me back. That's where you flip the pages yeah. in the, yeah. 2013 maybe. I think 2013, yeah. I email. I remember. Because Instagram's whatever. Yeah. Right, when was Instagram invented? 2010, 11? I don't know. I was I think it. I see Bart Kwan uh, doing bicep curls in a commercial gym. And joking. I remember, the, I remember those videos. Joking about his lifting, whatever. And I'm like, this dude's up my alley. Like, he's going hard in the video portion, but his audio version is fucking, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, he's yeah. fucking around. Like this, like, right? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like fucking around over here, but he's going hard. And so I'm like, all right, this is a dude I can mess with. Uh, I was working for a company called Slingshot at the time, and I reach out. I say, hey man, work for this company. Thought it'd be cool, maybe we meet, maybe we collab, who knows what. Let me send you some gears here, so. Um, and then I don't know the first meeting. The first meeting might have been 2014, 15. When did you move into the new space? 2013. No, uh, yeah. 14. No way. 14. 2014, 2014. So it's probably within months, yeah. less than 12 months, because yeah, yeah, who yeah. knows what month I emailed you. Yeah. You guys aren't open yet. No. I'm down there for the CrossFit game. You only had half of the equipment too. If you look at the old footage, I don't footage, really remember. Yeah. If you look at the old footage. It was like. Barbell was half of what it was. I know you had a comp bench. That's yeah, all I know. Yeah, we got that. And so we did a seminar 2014, I guess. Damn, bro. It's 2011, right? Or 2021. Yeah, seven years ago. Uh, we do a seminar before the gym's open. I think three weeks before, four weeks before Barbell Brigade actually opened in the current location, the, the, the more famous location. Yeah. Um, did a seminar, we hung out a little bit. I think we just kept in contact. And I think I drove down later by myself, maybe with Omar one time in 2014. Yeah. Uh, stayed at your house. Yeah, I remember. And then literally, and this it's kind of sad and sappy and corny and cringe and all that, but since then, uh, it's literally every month, about nearly every single month since then, I've driven down, stayed at your house, kicked it, filmed, worked, had did fun. Whatever, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, and so now COVID ruined that, and you guys came to visit me three weeks ago, and now we're here. Yeah.
fast forward seven years. That's pretty wild, though, actually. What am I, 32? You met me at 30 or 25. Wow. 24. So I remember during those days, I think you, me, and Omar had a special bond because we felt like we were the last of the Natty Mohicans. We were the most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were the Natty Mohicans. So we're just like, oh, okay, three three guys, no gains, but it's okay. Yeah, dude. It's okay. The mediocre crew kicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you saying that now because you're not the Natty Mohican? That's how look you phrase me, that. Look at dude. I so look like I've had zero progress. You're juiced out of your mind. Yeah, juiced out of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. Like, I think we... Uh, we related through that, we related through YouTube, lifting, stuff like that, and then I, uh... Also having a good time with lifting. You know, Omar's yeah. doing all the Power Ranger lifting. Like, we trained hard, For sure. we all just messed around had a good time. Especially in that era, 2010 to 2012, there's a lot of, like, tough guy mentality-ish things. And not that we don't, again, like to work hard or take it serious, but we like to have a good time. We, we enjoy our progress. And then I think you and I, because monthly, Sometimes twice in a month, I'd fly down eight in the morning, fly back at noon, whatever. Like we bought it over food, we bought it over music, we bought just very like-minded individuals. Um, and I'm blessed, blessed for the friendship. But uh, awesome. seven seven years is a long time, bro. Yeah, that's a long friendship. Not a lot of people last that long. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like friendships or life, like life moves so fast and things change. But pizza will keep us tight together. You and me, dude. Two, two Roni cups. We're two curled up Roni cups put together for a reason. Destiny, some may call it. Like it. Oil Roni cups. It was really cool hanging out with Mike, catching up on old times, him showing me his stomping grounds. And it's super fun. Uh, I'm gonna continue this gym tour. And as stuff opens up, maybe we could do this together. That'd be pretty cool. I'm down. Oh, dude, yeah. I would be down. Yeah. Let me know on the East Coast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, know the, let me know in the comments below. We'll keep doing this whole gym tour workout to EP. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like always, go to barbellbrigade.com. We have a full-on vlog there where our buddy Jacob Ross was a elite level sports performance coach. He writes weekly vlogs of really dope knowledge about fitness, strength, training, and health and make that a resource where you can come and learn about different things. And always, you can get our apparel, gear, supplements, and everything at barbellbrigade.com. See you guys next time.